the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean, as the church starts the Lent, the church put a curriculum of readings in this Lent. And this curriculum is being set up for those who are entering the faith, the catechumen. Those people, uh, they have two or three years educational uh, uh, course and then they prepare them during the Lent for repentance and by the end they attend the, in the church the Pascha week and then after this they are baptized uh, in the eve of resurrection and they go in a procession around the church with the icon of resurrection. That would just be the rituals long time ago but now there is no many catechumen in the church so the church baptized in the blind man Sunday. So basically we understand the readings or the gospels or any other reading with the light of this. The church is preparing something for those who are entering the faith, who are in the stage of repentance before they accept the holy baptism. From the readings of today and the reading of the other Sunday, the church tells the catechumen, your life will be different. Your life will be different. How? There are three things any Christian should have in his life, otherwise he is not going to be a Christian. Number one, the Christian, the Christian person cares about his spiritual life more than his earthly life. ثاني المسيحي بيهتم بحياته الروحية أكتر من حياته الجسدية. The Christian person cares about spirituality, cares about going to church, caring about the applying the commandment of God, caring about following Christ, caring about how he live as a good Christian. And the Bible is very, very obvious in this manner. God told his people in this world, you will have tribulations. In this world, you will have tribulations. Those who would like to live according to the Lord Jesus Christ shall be persecuted. It's very clear. But even though of all of these struggles, we still go after spirituals. We don't go after moral, mortal things. We live after what is spiritual. We always looking how to apply the commandment of God in our life. Number two, the Christian person care about the heavenly treasures. His treasure is in heaven. The most valuable thing you have is in heaven. You save in heaven. I have my precious, valuable things saved in heaven. Maybe others, they have treasures, they are saved in the bank, or maybe in a, a bank account, or maybe in a CD, or maybe in a property, many properties. Very good, all of these things are good, but those things will not gonna last for many years or forever. All of this, will vanish one day. And all of this, moss can corrupt and you can eat it. All of these things can go away, but your heavenly treasure will stay for you. There is many, many stories in the Bible proves that there is a treasure waiting for you in heaven for everything you save here on earth. Whatever you give away for the Lord Jesus Christ, it shall be saved for you in heaven. Many, they look at it this way. It's your life. Whatever you save in heaven, it will benefit you when you go to heaven, you will spend from. Of course, this point of view is kind of hard. But it comes with training. It comes when you care more about your spiritual life. The third thing 
for the Christian person is his leader is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one taking care of our lives. He is the one who leading us every day. He is the one who cares for us. He is my spiritual father. And this father is more stronger than my earthly father. If you can give your son good gifts, how come your good father in heaven will give you more and more and more? The heavenly father cares, protects, keeps, provides everything you want with your heavenly father. Those three things are the three things that matters that benefit the, the Christian person more than any other things. Any other people, they don't care about spiritual life. All other people, they don't care about this part of your soul, your spirit. I don't care. I, was, I met once with somebody who told me, who told you there is another life? If there is any proof that after you die, you will go to another life. Can you prove this? Can you prove this? Can you give me a material thing? Can you give me a witness? Somebody went there, stayed some time, and came back and told us, oh, I saw in heaven so and so and so. There is no such a thing. There is nobody. There is nobody went to heaven and comes back and tells us. Yes, there is nobody did, but we have it by faith. We know that what the words of God is right and true. A lot of people, they don't believe in eternity. A lot of people, they care about their lives more than their eternal life. The earthly person cares about this life more than any other thing. Let us eat and drink and be happy because we will live today and will die tomorrow. There is not, no proof proves that there is another life. Other people, their prideness in, in how much they own. I am proud that I am a millionaire. I am proud that I own this and that and this. And a lot of people, you hear this word from them, I, I, I worked so much, I worked so much in my early years, that's why I have so and so, so and so, so and so. I am very proud that I worked, I worked good, a lot, I saved, I built, I, I care about, I, 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 I took from my time and my effort and I built something. I am very proud that I built, I built for myself a fortune. I, very good. But all of this will vanish one day. All of this you will stand in the front of God without any of these things you built for yourself. You built for yourself. You did not. God gave it to you and you will give an account for every penny you made and you keep in the bank and you just keep it for you and for your sons and daughters and so on. Number three, the other people, their leader is many other leaders than the Lord Jesus Christ. Their leader could be their lust. Their leader could be their material things they love. Their leader could be a sin they admire and they would like to hold it in this life. Many leaders for them, according to whatever pleases me today, pleases me today is my leader. Whatever it is, I follow anybody to fulfill my lust is not the Lord Jesus Christ. According to today, today's reading, we call it the Treasure Sunday. Focus on what we have in heaven. On what we have in heaven. There is no mass corrupt there is no and nobody can steal. Nobody can steal. No mass corrupts. That's the sickness of the body. No mass corrupts the sickness of the body. 
any sick you have any sickness you have in your body could be a mass eating up your body so the body is not immortal your body it's just a suit you have it on for some time and you will take it out and you stand in the front of God with your own soul there is must corrupt this body and this body decays by time there is no body is the same like when you are 30 years old or 20 years old the more you the more you grow the more you have decays in your body the heart is not the same liver kidney is not the same it decays so there is must corrupt this body and it's never going to be the same and, uh, there is a expression for uh, sada rust i want to use it but it's, uh, yeah it's rust and there is no rust eats the body there is rusts and this rust making the body decays moss or rust corrupts the body and after a while it vanishes people who steals the body are accidents we have in life there is rough accidents we have in life there is disasters we see in life there is many troubles and tribulation makes our life miserable that's true so all your life you having a suit you will it will decay it will eats up but your soul is immortal there is other stealers can steal this body steal your life but it will vanish and go away so whatever stays is your soul this is a decision we all need to do to to make today we need to look for our eternal life we need to look for our heavenly treasure where is your treasure maybe we take a homework and think about it where is your treasure where is your source of happiness where is the treasure you have and you hold on to it saves of of your life when i grow old this is what i will depend on all of these things sometimes doesn't matter money doesn't buy health money doesn't buy time if you have a moment to leave you will leave if you have bad health god forbid money doesn't buy health money can buy friends but cannot buy love there is many things in our life money could exist could exist but it doesn't buy your needs maybe all maybe maybe all of us may we all of us think about treasure our treasure in heaven not our treasures on earth glory be to god forever and ever amen